Friday. It's our last measuring session today. And for this one, you will need some post-it notes, or if not, some paper and blue tack or something like that, a pencil to write with, and also a tape measure. Because we're going to be going around your house again and seeing if you can measure some bits. You can measure whatever you like today. It's not a challenge, it's a general measuring thing. A bit like we did on Monday, but fingers crossed you're going to be much more confident now. And I've got a bit of an extra challenge for you because I would like you to write down the number that you find. So for example, if I did something and it was seven, I would write seven, but seven what? If we're using a tape measure, it would be seven centimetres. Fantastic. So we can't forget that curly k and the mm at the end. Let me just show you to remind you. Fantastic. So as you go around with the permission of a grown up, you stick things, stick the post-it notes, your measurements onto the thing that you measured. That would be absolutely amazing. I have got a few examples for you here. Now, full disclosure, I haven't just grown my hair really long all of a sudden and it gone darker and changed my outfit. I actually filmed this back last year when we were doing lockdown. So this wasn't me this week, but same activity. So I thought, why not? I can just show you what I did last year. So here are a few examples from me and then you can get going. Don't forget, we always start at what number when we're measuring? Zero. So the top or the bottom of the thing you're measuring has to be next to zero and then it will work really, really well. So here are a few examples from me. The first thing that I'm going to measure today is this gorgeous picture here that my grandma made for me. So how many centimetres do you reckon it will be? Let me find out. Remember, when we're doing this, whether it's a ruler or a tape measure, we must start at zero. If I do that and do that number, then that's incorrect because what about all of this space? So we need to make sure that we start measuring from zero. Okay, so my picture here is 36 centimetres. A three and a six, and centimetres, we need to write it as a k and a m mm, centimetres. Do you see? And then I'm going to stick that on my picture and I'm going to go and find the next thing. <laughs> Right, the next thing I'm going to measure using my tape measure or a ruler if you've got one is my lovely sheep kitchen roll holder. So again, we've got to make sure that the end is by the bottom of the sheep, okay? And I'm going to measure the length of the sheep today. So that means from end to end. Um, but you could measure the height of something. So that means from the bottom to the top. So it's up to you, but I'm gonna measure the length today. So, well, let me see. That one is 35 centimeters, very similar to the picture. 35, so a three and a five centimeters. Can you remember those two sounds that we need? It's right, it's a k and a m. So this is what my label looks like. I'm going to stick that on my sheep and I'm going to go and find the next thing. Okay, here I am in my bedroom and the last thing I'm going to measure, as there seems to have been a bit of an animal theme in what I've measured today, is my lovely zebra mask. So I'm going to measure the height of this, so from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top. And that is 30 centimetres. So I'm going to write 30, a three and a zero. What were those two letters for centimetres? It was a K and a M. Mm. Do you also like that? And then I'm going to pop that label off. <laughs> That 
that's it from me today. It is over to you. How many things do you think that you can measure today?